Please raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky so long as I continue to be a citizen thereof, and that I will faithfully execute to the best of my ability the office of Deputy Sheriff. And I do solemnly swear that since the adoption of this Constitution, I, being a citizen of this state, have not thought a deal with deadly weapons within the state or without of it, nor have I sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor have I acted as a second in carrying a challenge, nor aided and assisted any person thus offended, so help me God. I do. Further, I do solemnly swear that I will do right as well by the poor as by the rich in all things belonging to my office as deputy sheriff, and that I will do no wrong to anyone for any gift, reward, or promise, nor favor, nor hatred, and in all things I will faithfully execute the office of, of uh, deputy sheriff uh, according to the best, uh, best of my skill and judgment, so help me God. I do. Then further, I do solemnly swear that I will endeavor to the best of my ability to detect and prosecute all gamblers and others violating the laws against gaming. I do. You're now Deputy Sheriff. I want to tell you a little something about your lay oath that you just took. Yes, sir. Uh, I know people that haven't heard it before sort of smile at the part about fighting a duel with deadly weapons, but there's a good reason for that being in there. In the beginning of our country, many political disputes were, uh, that's the way they were settled, by a duel with deadly weapons. Uh, and as deputy sheriff, you are a do hold a political office because you're a designee of the sheriff who is elected. So that applies to you too. Well, in the beginning, there were many duels that, that uh, settled uh, disputes and political disputes. Our third vice president, Aaron Burr, killed our first secretary of the treasury, Alexander Hamilton in a duel over a political dispute. So this went on and many, many states adopted this as part of their oath of office and many still have it. Some have discontinued it. And on the other part about being basically honest and, and not mistreating people and treating everybody the same and everything like that, there was a time in our history, our country's history, uh, that basically uh, Sheriffs didn't really make any money at all, and uh, the way they did it was they were able to leverage it from the uh, constituency, so to speak. Uh, and, uh, and when that was done, sometimes it was for fake favor, and uh, sometimes for hatred and all the things that was in there. So we moved on beyond that. Our, our, our country just really came a long way in that area. And uh, even though people say we're not as honest as we used to be, I believe we are more so because the law makes us that way, I think. And on the part about gambling, the reason that's so important is because the state of Kentucky has the lottery and they want all the gambling, uh, the gambling money. So I just want to tell you that and that's part why the oath is the way it is. Thank you, sir. And congratulations again and I will sign this and make it official. Yes, sir. Thank you.